Welcome back to CVTV. I'm Lucas. And I'm Hannah. We, we are, are your CVTV, CVTV anchors. anchors. We'd like to start the day off by wishing Jackson a very happy birthday. Please come to the office to claim your birthday pencil after CVTV. Next, we have the question of the week. Can you name at least three presidents whose face is on Mount Rushmore? Good luck and remember to put all guesses in the orange box in Mr. Tom's room. Next, we have Michael with today's weather. A wicked night of storms. We are looking at a cooler, cloudy day in central Indiana. We could see a pop-up shower in some areas. Look for temperatures to only climb into the upper 50s. Tomorrow, we see much of the same. Have a great evening, Crestview students. Back to you, anchors. Next is time for Where in the World is Your Teacher? Can you figure out where in the world Mr. Toms is in this picture? Remember to put all answers in the green box in Mr. Toms room. A winner will be announced on Friday. Don't forget to bring in canned foods for the sharing center. Hope Crestview collect 1,000 canned foods this week. The classroom that brings in the most will win a pizza party. Bring in those canned foods. Next we have Michael, again, with today's sports moment. Paul George led Indiana last night with 26 points against the Raptors, but unfortunately it just wasn't enough as the Raptors end the Pacers' season with an 89-84 win in Toronto. The Raptors will now face the Heat in the NBA playoffs. The Colts had a busy weekend at the NFL Draft as they picked defensive back TJ Green from Clemson and LaRaven Clark, an offensive lineman from Texas Tech. For your sports moment, I'm Michael. Back to you, Incas. Next we have Today in History. Today in 1941, the Federal Communications Commission agreed to let regular scheduling of TV broadcast by commercial TV stations begin on July 1st, 1941. This was the start of network television. In 1965, the Early Bird satellite was used to transmit television pictures across the Atlantic. And in 1974, the filming of Jaws began in Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts. Next we have Ms. Robertson back in the studio for a special announcement. Good morning, Crestview students. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I want to share two important pieces of information for you. First, I wanted to update you on the I-STEP attendance challenge. And fifth and third grade have been working super hard on their I-STEP. They started out with a great performance. Um, on day one, third grade had 99% attendance. Uh, on Friday, they had 95% and today they had 90%. Fifth grade, you started out with 100% on your first day, 97% on Friday, and 94% today. You have two more days to try to kick uh, the sixth grade um, grade levels off the top of the charts. Good luck with that, and be on time, and do your best on I-STEP. The second announcement that I wanted to make was our next challenge, and this challenge is for everybody, first grade through sixth grade. We've been focusing this year on Ubuntu and what that means. And so for the last month of school, we're going to have an Ubuntu challenge. Teachers and other staff members are going to be looking for students to sh model Ubuntu. That means helping others when they're struggling with behavior or academics, showing compassion or kindness to others, or doing selfless acts that help others or the greater good for the greater good of in your classroom or the school. Staff members will be watching you, and if they see you showing Ubuntu, they're going to nominate you with an Ubuntu certificate. If you receive one of these, you want to bring it down to the office, and our goal is to collect 100 of these tickets in the month of May. If we do that, we will have a, a special assembly for the whole entire school. Everyone will get to come, and all the people that get nominated, will be some of them will be selected to pull, uh, put pies in Mrs. Brown and my face. So please work hard to sh show your Ubuntu spirit and earn these tickets. Remember, our goal as a school is to earn 100 by the end of the school year. I wish you all the best of luck, and I hope I get some pies in my face in a few weeks. Our quote of the day comes from legendary wrestler turned actor, Dwayne Johnson, also known as The Rock. He turns 44 today. He says, my goal was never to be the loudest or the craziest. It was to be the most entertaining. Thank you for listening. I'm Hannah. And I'm Lucas. Have a great Monday. Take care of yourself. Stay responsible, respectful, and safe. And, and remember, remember to always find your voice in today's, today's world. world.